All right, so this is Watkins I'm here with. Taylor. Taylor. Nice to meet you. And? James. <laughs> James. Uh, basically, uh, I don't know anything about you. I just asked if you want to see some weird psychological stuff. Uh, basically, what I do is I like read people. And since what I do looks so psychic, I uh, obviously get a lot of skeptics who challenge my claims. And I've taken sort of the ones that I thought were the best, and I've written them down on a st uh, stacks of cards here. So, like you can see, I mean, we got a bunch of random ones like, uh, how many fingers am I holding up? Guess my, uh, guess what, like, uh, what am I thinking right now? And these are all just like random ones, right? Like just ones that I kind of uh, collected over the years, right? Okay. Like reveal a childhood memory. There's also one in there that says like, guess my Facebook password. Oh wow! All right. So uh, basically, yeah, these are like the hard challenges, right? And since what I'm about to do is so difficult, there is a couple of rules. It's going to be kind of like test conditions. Uh, the first rule is that I think I'm going to let you take one of these. I'm going to give one of you the I'm going to give you the opportunity to take one of these out. But we're going to make sure it's random. We're going to let fate decide which one you get. That's the first thing. Number two is whichever one you get, that's the one you're committed to. So like you can take it, and you can back out and say, oh, I don't want you to go for this information, but you can't say, oh, let me choose a different one. Does that make gotcha. sense? Another thing is, since there are some questions in here that want me to go for information that some people may not want me to go for. I will give you the opportunity to back out, okay? But I do uh, recommend that you try to be bold and adventurous and let me go for this All because right. I assure I you it'd be, it'd be amazing in the end if it does happen to work. Okay. So basically, I'm just going to ripple through this and you're just going to say stop whenever you like. So. Stop. Right there. You're going to take out the top one, whatever it is. And keep it to yourself. Don't even let, uh, don't let him see. Do you have it? And can you remember it? Can you remember it? Yes. Okay, can you keep that between your hands like this? Now, like I said, I am going to give you the opportunity. If you don't want me to go for this information, you can say, I don't want to do it, and then we can end it right here, and then you can go on with the rest of your day. On the other hand, you can be adventurous and try to be courageous, and I can go for whatever this is. So what do you say? Go for it. You're going to go for it. Perfect. Okay, now I need you to really just close your eyes and imagine you're giving me that challenge. Now remember, I have no idea what the challenge is, never mind what the answer is. So just close your eyes and imagine giving me a challenge. Okay, so the first thing I'm really picking up on is I'm seeing almost like a dark atmosphere about this. And it does have something to do with something that maybe uh, people don't want me to, maybe most people wouldn't want to talk about. Happy President's um, Day, everybody! You can tell me if I'm correct here. Just to be on the same page, I think you're asking me to tell you the day that you're going to die. Is that right? Okay, perfect. Yes. Now, uh, I don't claim to have any kind of precognitive abilities but I do try to operate on a certain level of intuition. There's another thing about this is that I'm not gonna go for the year, okay? I'm just gonna give you a month and a day. You can choose not to believe me. But there is something that I have noticed that's uh, kind of interesting. It's back whenever I was a kid, whenever I used to get the random shivers, I'm sure you've had those like random just trembling out of nowhere. My grandpa used to tell me that that was, uh, that that was like the, the Grim Reaper walking past you, or some people think, oh, that's somebody walking over your grave, like wherever you end up, wherever you end up getting buried. And uh, I've noticed that the same thing happens here, is that when I tell you the state, you should get a feeling where you know that what I'm saying is true, but I, I'm telling you to be skeptical, okay? So are you ready for this, all right? Hold your hand out. Let me see your palm really quick. Here, I'm just gonna tell you. I'm gonna whisper a date to you. You should be able to tell that I'm correct. Okay. And you can feel that you can you know that that's right. 